What is going on guys? FMU here and welcome back to another episode of Grassroots to Greatness. As I sit speaking to you, Liverpool have just gone 2-1 down in the Europa League final. And that is a real shame, but Sevilla have been absolutely bossing it, haven't they, in the second half. So, back to this. Guys, we have had a revolving door at Lazio this summer. I have spent three and a half, four, maybe even five hours in total over two days just transfer in, out, in, out, all over the place. And there's been a lot of business, a lot of business. This guy is still to join us. He joins us next year. Uh, but, but, but. She doesn't look that many coming in. Was there a few on the back end of our season? No. That doesn't seem quite as many coming in. But you can see we've spent 107 million, but we have taken in 111 million. So obviously we had to lose a lot of our big time players. Uh, some of the lesser known ones, such as uh, Bernazzoli, uh, Andres, they left. Uh, Cano went, or Kano, for Kano went to uh, Arsenal for £24 million. Pounds. Couldn't stand in his way. Wanted European football. Couldn't offer it him. Uh, Gomez left to Sheffield Wednesday. Savic, we knew, was going to Middlesbrough. Uh, Galini to Huddersfield. Uh, Donsa to Brentford. Parle, unfortunately, he's gone to Newcastle for 13 and a half. He wanted European football. Obviously, couldn't offer it him, so he's gone. Uh, there is also uh, our good friend, Mr. Hafidi. He's gone to Dortmund. That will rise to about 30 million, I think, altogether. Could be wrong. Could be about 25, something like that. I can't fully remember. Uh, Jakobsen was going to go anyway, but he's gone for three and a half, well, just over three and a half million. And uh, the big loss, but for a damn good amount of money, was Umut uh, Demery. De <laughs> I always get his name wrong. De Mercy has gone to Leicester City for 35 and a half million. So a lot of outgoings, counteract with a lot of incomings. Uh, Eda Sanchez, or Ida Sanchez. This is going to be three. It is. Is he offside? Oh, he's not. No, yes, no. It's given. Oh, my God. Liverpool getting butt-banged by Sevilla. That is terribly, terribly, terribly shock. Ing defending my life. Anyway, back to this. Uh, Ada Sanchez has come in. He's gone straight out on loan. Oh, Jurgen Kopp kicking off. Uh, he's gone straight out on loan to uh, Real Vallecano. Uh, but he looks like he could be a decent player going forwards. Uh, this was one that was arranged by the previous regime. Uh, uh, Demetrio Miniti from Inter Milan. He's come in for uh, the of... I don't know. How much was it? I can't even remember. Oh, he's on a free. Uh, obviously, I told you about Balde coming in. Uh, Nenand Pejic from uh, Celtic for £12.5 million. Pleased with that one. Wanted him. You saw me in the last episode. So I was quite interested in picking him up. Uh, then there is... Uh, Dio, uh, I thought that was Diamani, but is it? It's Dlamini. Dlamini? Delamini, Delamini, I don't know, Lamini we'll call him. Uh, he has come in from Applewell over in Cyprus. Now, I like the look of him, and he's been touted as being a bit of a troublemaker, but I do quite like the look of him. Then there is Stefano Maffioletti from uh, Sampdoria for £2.9 million. He's got, I like the look of this young man. I think he could go far. I think we could really do something with him. Turn him into a pretty decent player. Um, and then Zoran Kodac for £10.75 million from Udinese. He was a very, very, very key player last season in their uh, bid to stay up. And uh, he got 10 goals in 164 games for them. So quite liking the look of him. 
thought I'd take a punt on him, brought him in. And then there is the cultured midfielder of uh, Frederick uh, Nsiala. Nsiala. He's coming in uh, from Monaco for £3.2 million. Bit of a dodgy hair going on there, but he's classed as a cultured midfielder. So I'm hoping that he will bring a bit of class and culture to the midfield, which makes him a cultured midfielder. Then there is Hugo Cimenti from Bari, 5.75 million. I like to look at this guy. I really like him. 20 years of age. He looks the biz. So I'm hoping he can really do well for us. Come in, settle in quickly and crack on. Marco Tortora from Torino for £4.6 million. I like the look of this guy. He wasn't getting a crack at Torino at all. But I think, you know, sort of how slowly build him up a bit he's only 24 still but have him as sort of that fringe player to start off with and then just see how he gets on could do all right Stefano Del Monte is the new club captain he came in uh, into Milan just weren't using him wasn't happy so he snapped his ass up uh Babini he had a six million pound relegation release clause in his contract which was a beauty so he's come in for six million still only 20 so it'd be interesting to see how he does, but I think he could turn into a whopper of a player. Uh, then there is Helder Pad... Pad, Pad <laughs> I can't even get my words out. Helder Padilla. Yeah, so pleased with him. Maybe his stats could have been a little bit better, and I wish I could have paid less, but hey-ho, there you go. Uh, then we have Jonathan Ramos. This guy um, was available on a free, so I snapped him up, loaned him straight out to Madeira. One of those where we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. Then Gorka de Paula. What a player. What a set of stats on this bad boy. Really pleased to have got him. I did say, uh, if it was in the last episode or maybe the one before, I was looking at him did like him a lot and you know really really pleased to have got him spent a lot but pleased uh vitor texiera there's something about this guy um i was watching a player um from madeira the guy out who i set out on loan to friendly and i i just saw him and i liked him and then this guy um nicolay he has been brought in by my director of football um i okayed the transfer because he looks a player doesn't he He looks a really good player two million pounds so not a massive outlay and hopefully we'll be able to um do a bit of work with him and it'd be interested to see what happens to him uh come the end of his stint with us um so yeah that is that in terms of incomings and outgoings a lot has gone on a hell of a lot and um it's <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what happens to us now because like i say it's a massive transition of players going out coming in um you know it, and it's going to take that time for us to gel a bit but i don't know what to expect i've got a feeling that we, we will be okay that's quite a few season tickets to be fair that's not too bad so far. Um, I've I've got a feeling we'll be okay, but I don't I don't know. You can never really tell, can you? Oh, he's back at least, not fit yet, but he's back. That's that's part of the battle one, isn't it? Uh, he's available, so happy days. Um, wow, you look like Del Del Monte, like a mofo, and that stuff I already knew. Vera was going to fail the test. So let's see what the old quickity pick comes up with. That's f fine, I think. Why is it put Vera in? Why? Why? Just why? you got Giorgio De Rossa, who can play there, who's fitter, um, more prepared, more ready to go than our friend Vera. But it's like, no, we'll put Vera in. Fuck it. Let's just put him in. Let's screw you in the arse. Um... I don't know if to put Chiamenti in for Piaka. Yeah. Let us do it. He's, you know, he is, his shape is better. He's much more, oh my God, I didn't even realise. I haven't done my, uh, hardly any of my squad numbers. Uh, 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 u
I will give you 16. Uh, oh, but you like number six. Oh, for frick's sake. Right, we'll give you number four, you number six. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm dying. Sorry. <sighs> Woo. Um. Okay. Bar. Sorry, guys. This is really boring for you. You just witnessed me almost choking to death. Uh, you could be number twenty. I am very careful what numbers I give players. Numbers to me are a big thing in terms of players. Some people look at it that way. Some people don't. So I, you know, I try not to give like youth players, um, like low down squad numbers. I try to give them over the thirty um, numbers if I can. But if if I have a, a youth player that I particularly like, I've not done it this time. But if there's a youth player that I particularly rate, I might not say anything. But if he's got the number twenty five shirt and he's a youth player, that means I rate him. I always give it because Nick Powell at uh, Man United, uh, Man United when he was at Crew was number twenty five. So that is the thinking behind that. What is going on here? Sorry, guys, if you had a little bit of a... Oh, dear, no, no. Uh, sorry if that was a bit juddery then. I don't know what was going on there. My computer seemed to have had a bit of a fit. So I apologise for that. Not a great start. They've come out, hit the bar straight away. Oh, my goodness, he's napped him. Oh, well done. Come on. Oh, dear. This does not bode well. We have not started very strongly at all. Oh, look at this record tackle. Fuck's sake, what is that all about? Oh my goodness. I wonder if nerves are a thing. You know, new team. New oh, no, no. Oh, feck off. Really? Let's give, let's give him a rollicking straight from the off. Let's, oh, you bastard. <laughs> I've ever just like, wait, wait till he is, wait till he's just about to hit it and then take it away from him. You swine. Frost and Ono won the look though. Fair play to them. They had a cracking season last year. Really good season. Lecce, newly promoted. Lecce are playing newly promoted Sasuina and they are losing, well, Lecce are winning 1-0. Sasuina losing 1-0. Yeah. Sorry, but that snuck out. Please don't hate me for that. Sorry. Sorry. I hate doing that on camera ever since somebody had a right bitch fit about it. Everyone snuck up on me. I'm sorry. I am very sorry. Why is... I don't know if it's doing it for you, but my... My computer seems to be juddery. No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, Del Monte. What? What? Oh you doing what the hell was that all about we are 2-0 down after 23 minutes at home on the opening day of the season someone is taking the Michael Twist out of me and I'm not happy with it go on get in I I'm sorry if there's a little bit of a disturbance between me talking and the camera, but my screen has gone very juddery at the moment. So for that, I apologise. What a pain in the Harris. Right, bear with me one second, guys. I'm just going to see if I can't sort something out here. That's better. I don't know what I did, but it's better. Go on. Balde. Go! 2-2 two -two from 2-0 two -no down to 2-2. Two -two. Fucking get in. And it's that boy from Everton. That boy who we had at Everton is becoming a man at Lazio. He was a prolific goal scorer for me at Everton. And he started very, very well in Lazio. What is going on with this? I, I'm sure... I'm hoping that you're not getting the... Oh, you fighter. I'm hoping you're not getting the judderiness that I'm getting. It could be throwing the live com out a little bit, so I apologise. Go on, bro. Go on. Go! Patrick on his debut! Oh, get in. Get in. What a turnaround. What a beautiful turnaround. And the man from Celtic has scored. Fantastic. Get in, my son. I am very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. That is a fantastic comeback. 
fantastic turnaround. But now we've got to try and keep it going, haven't we? We've got to really try and hold that because we've we've seen it before, and I'm sure we'll see it again. Where this freaking team of mine have thrown away spectacularly wonderful leads really good leads and it's just like um yeah we're fucking up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, one of my friends is being stupid <laughs> to be fair he's stupid all the time but he's being more stupid I am so impressed with the fact we've come from 2 0 down to be 3 2 up, but I've just got a feeling this has got either 3 3 or 4 3 to them. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what a save. What a save. Well done, defence there. Come on. Let's make a change, yo. Uh, 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 uh. Um, um, El Brainio. Yeah, we'll pop him on. So we've got two Italians at the back now. Because uh, Helder's um, Italian obviously isn't great. Uh, so we'll we'll go with that. Get it out. Get it out. That's it. Come on. Well done. I'm chuffed that Balde scored. Really chuffed with that. Really pleased. Um, I know he's not fully fit, but we'll whop him in. Give him a give him a crack. Uh, we've got ten minutes to go, and things looking okay. Oh, go! Pej- is that Pejic? Yes, it is. Nenad Pejic, the man side from Celtic, has scored twice, twice on his debut. Get the feck in. Very happy with that. Really pleased with that. Well done, that man. And what a turnaround. 2-0 down to 4-2 up. That is fantastic stuff. Really, really pleased with that. Really pleased. Are you going to get a third? They're coming, aren't they? They're coming. Is it always offside? Zippity-boo, get in. 4-2 after being 2-0 down. That, kids, that is a busting comeback. But I'm not going to get passionate. I'm going to be calm about this. And just... Oh, do we, no, we'll do that one. I don't want to be like, oh, you were the greatest thing in the world. Don't want to begin on that shit because it'll get them a bit carried away. Um, that, my friends, is something we do not need. and Do not want... But gosh, what a freaking comeback that is. That was superb. Really pleased with that. Pissed off at the way we went 2-0 down, but very pleased with the way we come back. And yeah, I bet he is happy for the fans. Jesus, who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be after that? But guys, um, I'm sorry if the video is a bit juddery. I don't know. It was on my screen, but it could be the fact that I was doing something else at the same time, work-related, so it may have been messing around with it. But guys... Um, Unfortunately, I'm out of time for now. But as always, thank you for watching. Please hit a like if you enjoyed the episode. Uh, Subscribe if you're new, if you wouldn't mind. That would be really great. And it's been a pleasure being in your face. Goodbye.